menjawab pertanyaan dari saudara kita Assalamualaikum Ustaz Saya melihat fenomena kelompok umat Islam Yang mengaku sebagai kelompok panji hitam Mendukung Imam Mahdi Menurut Ustaz Apa panji hitam itu sebenarnya? Baik menjawab pertanyaan itu Kita Tentunya berdasar kepada Sunnah Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Di dalam Hadis Yang diriwayatkan Ibnu Majah Hadis yang ke 4084 Kita baca hadisnya Sama-sama Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Haddasana Muhammad Ibnu Yahya Wa Ahmad Ibnu Yusuf Kona haddasana Abdul Rajak An Sufyan al Sauri, An Khalid al Haja, An Abi Kilaba, An Abi Asma, Al Rahabi, An Sauban, Kola. Kola Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ya, tadi lu anda kan zikun salah satu kuluhum ibnu Khalifah. Semua raya siru ila wahid minhum. Semua tatalumu. Raya Tussud Min Kibalil Masrik Ayak tulunakum Kotran Lam Yak Talhu Kauman Summa Dekara Sayyan La Ahfazu Kala Faidya Raitumuhu Raiyumuhu Walau Habwan Ala Sarji Fa Innahu Khalibatullahil Mahdi Dalam Hadis Rewayat Majah yang ke-4084 Terjemahannya adalah Rasulullah SAW bersabda Akan berperang Tiga orang Di sisi perbendaharaanmu Mereka semua adalah putra khalifah Tetapi tak seorang pun Di antara mereka yang berhasil menguasainya Kemudian terbit Simbol-simbol Atau panji berwarna hitam Dari arah timur Lantas mereka membunuh kamu dengan satu pembunuhan yang belum pernah dialami kaum sebelum kemudian dikatakan bahwa Sahaban Rasulullah berkata kemudian beliau Sahabat Rasulullah menyebutkan sesuatu yang tidak apa lalu bersabda maka jika kamu melihatnya berbayatlah walaupun dengan merangkak di atas salju karena dia adalah Khalifatullah Al Mahdi. Nah, berdasarkan hadis ini, kita mendapat keterangan pertama menjawab apa itu panji hitam. Bisa jelaskan sesuatu yang timbul, muncul, berwarna hitam dari arah sebelahnya timur. Yang memiliki tugas, misi, payak tulunakum kotran lam yak talhu kauman. Yaitu untuk membasmi, untuk membidasakan, menghancurkan. Satu kaum yang belum pernah terjadi di masa Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Jadi raya tusuk ini bukan satu gambaran bendera antara Arroy dan Aliwat itu. Maka Imam Hajar Al Asqalani Al Habib menyatakan bahawa ini bisa dikompromi tentang makna Arroy. Saya lebih kepada misi daripada Arroy ini. Roya Tusu ya, Simbol keagungan Kebesaran ya, Berwarna hitam yang datang dari Arah sebelah timur Jadi ini apa? Roya di sini Sesuatu yang muncul tanpa benang, tanpa tali Tanpa tiang Dari arah sebelahnya timur Dan punya misi Menghancurkan, membinasakan Satu kaum Ini bisa mungkin Saja dalam satu jet tempur In this video, I will be unfolding some of the shocking truths from Gossam's divine dreams. In Gossam's dream on December 4th, 2014, 
Allah showed me that Islam has three powerful buildings which resembled castles. These castles are the protectors of Islam. The first castle is Turkey and the second castle is Saudi Arabia. From a different dream on December 2014, Muhammad told me that the last castle of Islam is Pakistan. I saw that two out of these three castles were destroyed by the wicked Illuminati forces and they faced little to no resistance from the Muslims. Muslims became very anxious when the first castle was destroyed but they were unable to do anything. Then Muslims got shaken heavily when evil forces destroyed the second castle. They cried out saying this is a devastating loss to Islam. Then those evil forces advanced towards Pakistan, the third and final castle of Islam. Then the dream shifted to my point of view. I saw myself in the third and final castle of Islam. The way I saw it in my perspective was a row of three castles located one after another. And the first two castles got attacked by enemies with weapons. I was very worried and wanted to warn the people. But no one paid attention and they lost the first two castles of Islam. Then I saw the enemies advance towards the third and final castle of Islam. Out of fear, Muslims ran around and tried hiding themselves. I told them that whether you hide or fight, you will be killed. Then I decided to fight while saving Islam for the sake of Allah, even if it means death. Then Allah bestowed the Muslims in the third castle with 3,000 powerful and advanced black fighter jets. These jets frightened the world and was a strong hope to any Muslims who remained. Then the Muslims were successfully able to defend the final castle of Islam with the help of Allah. Then Muslims mainly from the east began spreading true Islam in the whole world by the mercy of Allah. Then the whole world was filled with peace and justice until the appearance of Dajjal, the Antichrist. Qasim says he cannot believe our generation will soon face such horrible tribulations. And he prays that Allah will save all three castles of Islam. However, there is no doubt that these events will soon happen one after the other. And Allah has promised us a way out by sharing these dreams to the whole world.